Hi guys, my name is Danielle and today I will be showing you guys how to make chicken and shrimp Cajun Alfredo. The reason why I decided to go with this dish is because I have made it multiple times before and this was one of the first dishes I made on my own and personally I feel like it's very easy for anybody to make if you can cook, if you can't. It's like a starter meal, it's very easy to make and my mom as I'm getting older, you know, she told me like, okay, you're going to have to learn how to cook, start cooking for yourself. So, you know, she kind of just told me like, okay, I'm going to give you one week and you're going to have to figure out how to make some type of dish and you're going to prepare it for dinner. So I was trying to think of many things. I didn't want to make anything too, too hard because, you know, I'm just learning how to cook. I don't want to make something and it's nasty. So, I do like pasta, so I'm like, okay, let me try to go with chicken alfredo. And I added a little kick to it because I like shrimp, so I added them together, and I like spicy food, so I decided to add the Cajun sauce to it to give it a little more spice. So, before actually making the dish for the first time, I did go on TikTok and the internet, and I figured out different type of recipes and how other people make chicken alfredo and so I kind of used based off what I learned from what I watched and seen and I kind of came up with my own recipe I did not know how to season the shrimp and chicken at first because you know I'm starting out first time cooking so I kind of just used some spices in the cabinet and I just came up with my own thing and over time I have gotten better. I do want to actually start making my own Alfredo sauce. In the video, you will see me using two different Alfredo sauces. But as far as making my own, I know it is a little more challenging. But that's the challenge I'm willing to take because I, I feel like it'll probably make the dish better than just buying pre-made Alfredo sauce. And also, while I was doing research, I found out that Alfredo sauce does not exist in Italy. And I found that quite interesting to me because when I think of pasta, I think of, okay, pasta is Italian food. So how can Alfredo sauce not exist in Italy? In fact, the chicken Alfredo dish actually originated in, in, in Rome in 1914 by a chef and his wife. They owned their own restaurant and that's how chicken Alfredo came to be. So hopefully in this demonstration video, you will see the type of seasoning, what type of Alfredo sauce, what type of noodles. I did use the pini noodles. You can either use like the spaghetti noodles for pasta or the little bow tie noodles, but I did use the pini. And you will also see, you know, how long each, each thing took to cook. It didn't take me at least almost about an hour and a half to make, so... It was a fun experience to make and hopefully you can gain a lot of knowledge from this video and hopefully you guys will want to try to learn how to make this on your own someday. So let's go ahead and watch the demonstration video. So you have to boil the water for the noodles. I put salt in it to make it go a little faster. I cleaned off the meat, it has to dry a little bit, and then the shrimp is currently defrosting and it's still a little frozen. So we're gonna come back to this once everything is done. The water is now boiling, so now we're gonna pour the noodles in. And we're gonna let these boil for about 25 to 30 minutes. And once all the meat and stuff seem to be dry, you're going to season it. I'm using these seasonings right here, and you want to do the front and the back. Those are done, so we're going to strain them in this strainer. The noodles are currently being strained, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking this in two pots. So the chicken is cooking and the shrimp is cooking, and we're going to come back once we get done. The chicken is done, we're going to cut it up and put everything together. So 
So the chicken is cut up, the noodles are done. Now we're gonna put everything together. Now all I'm doing is stirring the pot to make sure the Alfredo sauce and the jerk sauce is all mixed in. And then once this is done, then we're finished. Okay, and this is the finished product. We got the toast and then the chicken and shrimp jerk Alfredo. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching on how to make the chicken and shrimp Cajun Alfredo. I can say one of the things that I will say is you might want to kind of defrost your shrimp a little earlier because I kind of did it at the time I was starting to cook. So it took me a little longer for the shrimp to defrost. So I would say if you do plan on making this dish, take your shrimp out of the freezer a couple hours earlier and just sit it in a bowl with hot water. And let it sit for a couple hours so therefore by the time you are ready to cook the dish it'll be completely defrost um like i said if you want to make a dish that's very easy and convenient and won't take that much time i do highly recommend making a pasta dish such as mine's so fast and i do potentially want to change up my recipe a little bit because I do want to try like the thick spaghetti or the bow ties and I'll see if that makes a difference in the taste. I also do want to try to season my chicken and my shrimp a little different and see how that'll go. As far as the Cajun sauce, like I said, I really enjoy spicy food. So that kind of gives it a kick to it and gives it a nice flavor. I also did want to try steak instead of the chicken. I really enjoy steak. So I feel like That'll be something I'm really interested in trying. Also making my own Alfredo sauce. But I feel like I might kind of run into a problem a little bit because I don't like cheese at all. I try to avoid cheese as much as possible. And I feel like cheese is the most important ingredient in making Alfredo sauce. So I do still want to give it a shot and try. But I don't know if it's going to taste the same. They also, I have noticed... If you look at my video, there is a certain brand I use. It's other brands of Alfredo sauce in the store, and you can tell a difference. That's why I use the brand I use, and I get two different flavors because I can tell the difference with the sauces. And pretty much, I enjoyed making this. I will continue to make it. I thank my mom for pushing me to learn how to cook because now I want to learn how to make different other sauce pastas instead of Alfredo's. And... Once again, I hope you guys enjoy my video and you guys can use what you've seen and possibly make your own chicken and shrimp Cajun Alfredo. Thank you.